Hey guys, how's it going? I thought I'd fill you in a little bit about how this M140 video came about. I was basically cruising around sort of Surrey Hills in my M2, which I'm sitting in at the moment. I'd been down to see my friends at Southern Sky Motors. Just an excuse really to go for a nice drive because the weather was beautiful and the, the rest of the week was looking a bit grim. I was on my way home actually, heading to the M25 and the world's largest traffic jam. And I happened to look across and I could see this lovely mineral grey, well, M135 as, as most of us would think. So I looked at it and I thought, that looks really new. And there was someone sitting in it and I kind of went past and anyway I carried on driving so I did a u-turn came back and pulled into the lay-by and as luck would have it it was an M140 obviously brand new it was a couple of days old belonged to a lovely guy called Josh who you'll see in the video and he just uh, purchased it from Lloyd's in uh, Newcastle pulled up behind him I thought oh, he's gonna think I'm a stalker but then I did think well I'm in an M2 so he should be cool and he got out and then he recognized me from a couple of my videos and we started talking then he offered me a test drive and it was brilliant I mean I was you know we only went out for sort of 15 20 minutes I had one GoPro with me I was a bit limited as to what I could sort of film time wise and equipment wise you know most people that know me I'm, I'm the sort of person that would literally go up and speak to anyone you know I'm very and I'm very approachable as well and, and not shy and I love I love sharing things as, as you guys know but it was very nice of, of Josh to give me the opportunity to do that and and, and be so friendly back it was just a like-minded guys sort of chatting away about cars it was... right hey guys this is a uh, very random this is Josh nice to meet that you. I've literally just met I went past his what I thought was an M135 but it looked too new so I actually drove past my M2 did a u-turn and came along to find that it was an M140 so we've just been talking about it now and he's very kindly offered me a quick test drive in it which is awesome because BMW UK no one can get me uh, can get me a car so I haven't got much equipment with me so I'm holding my GoPro <laughs> with my hand at the moment so excuse the, the wobble, wobbly uh, wobbly footage so right here we are Josh me M140 I can't believe how excited I am about stepping out my M2 and getting an M140 <laughs> but that just shows you how genuinely uh, exciting these cars are and how, how much they mean to me. First one I've been in, well I've sat in actually, I've sat in that one in the showroom about a week ago but it's the first one I'm going to drive so exciting times. Uh, just on the start up there it's, it's warm because Josh has been using the car and I notice immediately that this start even on a warm start up uh, the exhaust sort of bubbles or burbles or whatever you want to call it a bit like uh, the old 135s used to do on the cold start so they've engineered that into every time you start it by the sounds of things so that's that's a bonus because we all love that cold start so anyway yeah I'll stop talking and let's take this out for a bit of a drive I don't know where to take it you'll, you'll be alright on these roads Silky, silky, silky smooth is my first reaction to this motor. Oh my god. Also, I've just come out of my M2 with the, with the DCT box, which is quite jerky and kind of like violent. So, getting into this with even in it's sports smooth. mode, it's just so smooth. I felt yeah. that when I was driving down. It just seems a bit smoother, everything, than the M135. Yes, yeah, which yeah. I didn't even know if it was new, but if, but uh, I think they've changed the software in the eight-speed box again to make it just so, so good. They're just brilliant gearboxes, these. I mean, yeah. they're, you know, anyone that writes these off, I mean, they're just amazing. Right, so, so we're in. Oh, yes, 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 yes. M2 pace, without a doubt, 100% quieter in here than the M2 but I think that's as much to do with the the way this is insulated a lot better I think the M2 just lets in a lot of sound a lot of exhaust sound um, so sort of and also you've got the full pipes but yeah that torque oh wow <laughs> yeah they improved the torque a lot didn't they on the M135 yeah yeah they really yeah yeah the figures well it's got the same torque figures as as my M2 um, so that's what I was sort of most intrigued about to see uh, that feels like but yeah this is good and the ride the ride feels very similar has this got adaptive suspension in it this one it does adaptive dampers i think so yeah. adaptive dampers yeah that's sorry that's what i meant 
okay, yeah. Yeah, so the ride, I mean, it feels very similar to mine. I don't think they've changed too much since the LCI ride, but again, I might be, might be wrong. Um, and now we're gonna traffic down. <laughs> but yeah, so smooth. Wow. And it lets you downshift quite a lot as well without it having too much difference, which is really nice. Yeah, it's sure. Awesome. Yeah, without, without the hesitating. Double clutch, yeah, the yeah. double clutch does that, doesn't it? But this one yeah. allows you to do so. Sounds even less turbo. It sounds more normally aspirated than the 135, which which is saying something because BMW built some amazing turbo engines recently that really don't. The turbo doesn't seem to quiet, and they just sound like they're free revving, free revving normally aspirated engines. And this this sounds even better than the 135. I think so. Yeah. I, I yeah I I thought that as well, but I was. I was trying to just drive it for a bit just to see, but. Yeah, sometimes you think you're imagining things. Yeah. Like oh, that torque. <laughs> yeah, that torque is, when that comes in, it, it's almost a bit laggier than the M2, because the M2, it seems to be there immediately. But when this, when the, when the torque and when the turbo starts falling, oh yeah, what a serious piece of kit. 30 grand these things are new, like, I mean, well, before you start throwing options on them, <laughs> you don't even get a steering wheel for 30 grand, but... Uh, <laughs> no, Price-wise, they're brilliant. Aren't they? Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, this is great. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, I wasn't actually in sports. Hear the exhaust getting cut already. It's a third gear. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, that's great. And it doesn't. I just thought when I heard about these figures in this without the limit slip diff and whatever, I was like, well, was it going to struggle? But it just seems to. Smooth! Unbelievable! It probably feels faster, always feels faster as a passenger. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's nice though, it's nice to be It's nice to hear you talk about it as well. I'm not normally this erratic driving. <laughs> it's like, I've got five minutes. That's why you have car. one of these, don't you? You've got to, yeah. you've got to drive it. Drive. Like man. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> It does feel a bit stiffer in the rear end actually. It seems to struggle less out of corners putting the power down. Right, so window open. Let's just do a little first gear. <laughs> that is a screamer and that's not even taking it. The car's new so I'm not taking much over five grand but that is a uh, yeah, it's an interesting engine. It's completely different to the M55, but yet offers similar performance but much more torque. Let's spin around here. <laughs> yeah, it's that torque and also it, maybe the ride. Maybe they have tweaked something because it really does seem to float over stuff very well. It doesn't seem to get too unsettled. Not as rigid. Yeah, not as rigid, which the M135's always been a bit go-kart like in yeah, that sense. I felt that a bit. Um, the 235's always been better at sort it's, of it just feels more of a complete car. It does, yeah. It really does. I mean it's brand new, so it is gonna be tight, but their mind's not that old. Oh, it's just so effortless. It's just like being in my M2, but without the sound. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a lovely sound, but it's turned, the volume's turned down a bit. The M2's ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Let me get the sports displays up in there. Has it got sport? It does have sport yeah, displays sure. in there. Oh, just am I not in there? There we go. Yeah. 
third gear. Let's try and get that outrageous snail noise. So it's just. improvement and I knew it would be I've heard I've Thanks. heard good things about it but no, like I said no one's really got their hands on it. Do you know I, I do you mind me talking no no yeah, talk. Um, I I was looking on the internet as much as I could I take my friend's point of view whatever he says I kind of listen to yeah um, obviously but I was trying to look on the internet and there's hardly any reviews hardly no any. no nothing BMW have kept this car very quiet the engine in there, I think it's now the B58, I think that's what it's called. Um, this is gonna be the new unit that they're gonna use on all the M cars going forward. So this is like oh, the base right. unit. Oh, okay. So this is, they're using this car almost as like a test rig. They haven't shouted it about it. They're just, because it's such an amazing sort of opportunity to buy a car, it's such a you know, well priced bracket. Yeah. They don't wanna, they still wanna sell loads of their M cars and whatever else. So they haven't really shouted about this car much. And even the press cars that are due, uh, the, the press BMW UK press cars aren't due until end of September. I mean, this yeah. car's. I know people have had this for like three weeks already. You know, and yeah. normally press cars come out the, the day that the first customer gets a car. Sometimes even earlier. So they've kept, kept them back. Yeah, they kept them back, and uh, there must be a reasoning behind that. Um, but I mean, yeah, nice thing. It is a great bit of kit. It's brilliant, and that extra punch. I mean. There wasn't many hot hatches that really had legs on this on the 135, but now this thing's right up there with you know with all the, with the RS, RS3. Yeah, RS3 and the latest A45. I think they've upgraded the power. They're both 10 grand more, aren't they? Exactly. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. they are M2 competitors. They're not. Uh, yeah, they brought out the M2 to blow those other ones out the water. Exactly. They? Yeah, and that's the thing. People do compare this to a lot of, but you know, they, this is compared to say the RS, the Ford RS, Focus RS, which is. Brilliant value. These are as good as the A45 and the RS3 for me. For sure, yeah. And and you know, especially you watch that Chris Harris video, which I think 90% of people that have got these, uh, you know, that that sold it to them, and it certainly sold it to me when I, I must. I've watched that video like a thousand times. I love it. I love Chris Harris. He's just brilliant. But um, and that blows the old RS3, which which I knew was a bit beautiful engine, fast in a straight line, but just numb. You know, not not exciting in yeah. terms of uh, but this thing's just like a little pocket rocket and they always have been goes off. In very warm conditions, so plenty of grip out there. Yeah, this and that again. I was just using the torque there. I wasn't revving it out um, before. Like to keep up with that in an M one three five, you'd have to rev like use all the yeah. available power at the top end. This just goes and goes and goes, doesn't it? Exactly. What a car! Oh, I want one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, the thing is, I've got to come to a sensible decision because I can't be running a 135 and an M2. It just there's no point. They're very similar cars, but I have been thinking a while now for the last sort of six weeks. Those in and get, get one of these. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, and I was just desperate to try one and just see. I think this, even though I'm not really an exhausty person, I'm not. You know, I'm a lot older than you, so. I, Things like that don't normally matter, but I think a slightly louder exhaust than this, like the end performance, yeah. would just that would be it. Finish it off, done. Again, that's only five. I'm not not taking it all the way out, and it's just punching. <laughs> It's an M2. Right, so we've just come back from a 15 minute test drive. I really appreciate that, Josh. Like, no complete stranger to you. You could see the excitement on my face and also the fact I turned up in an M2. He's like, yeah, I can trust you, I think. What a car. 
it's fantastic. Obviously the roads are busy and it's it's not my car, so I wasn't gonna abuse it. I could feel, you, you don't need to abuse it. That's the thing, the, the extra torque uh, available just gives you that performance lower down than, than say the M135. The ride also feels more sorted, but I did say that when I picked up my LCI car as well. So I don't know if it's just the fact that this car's brand new. I can't get the camera straight now, there we go. <laughs> that the car's brand new, but you did notice that as well, yeah, didn't you? It's, yeah, it's smoother. It feels, smoother. yeah, it feels smoother. And less it, of an effort. I less feel. of an effort, yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to get so unsettled over sort of bumps because the roads around here aren't perfect. Um, it just seems to get the power down. But saying that, uh, you'll see it on camera, but I think fourth gear just pulling away back there, 55 odd miles an hour, it's dry and warm outside, so the tires are really sticky. And we still managed to get a bit of, uh, bit of, bit of wheel spin, so that just shows you that extra torque, because you would never get that in the M135 uh, at that sort of speed, you just wouldn't, and in fourth gear. So impressive bit of kit. The sound as well, it's a lot, I've got out the M2, so it is hard to sort of talk about it, because I haven't jumped out the M135, but the sound is really nice. It's so smooth in drive. It's silky smooth. You don't even hear the engine. Uh, and in in sports, it, it's it's loud or loud enough. Third yeah. third gear occasionally that you get this crazy turbo sort of snail sound out the exhaust. It sounds like it's spitting. Like it's yeah, it does. It spits out as well. Yeah, it sounds like a sandblaster or something. Like genuinely like. Ksh first time I did it I was like oh what have I done have I broken it but uh, no I think that's engineered in there or it's just it's the turbo that you can hear so brilliant piece of kit really really cool car and to me now it's like yep yeah, get rid of the M2 and the M135 and get one of these even in this color mineral go gray mineral gay I almost called it but <laughs> <laughs> mineral gray color is the one that I've wanted forever and I think this is yeah I'm gonna have to copy you and get this get this car <laughs> thanks a lot Josh no worries. That's, uh, that's awesome man cheers no and uh, and he's also offered offered me the chance to come down and do a proper 135 uh, 140 comparison test be interesting yeah it'd be good and uh, we can do a bit of swapping and, um, and 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 actually do some back to back driving in them but uh but I can tell you now this is this is definitely an improvement unfortunately for all you 135 owners out there this is an improvement over them as we all knew it would be go out there and find yourself a deal cool thanks guys thanks Josh See I'll you speak later. to you soon uh, I've had a few days to sort of think about the M140 drive that I had. You know, I obviously you saw my immediate reactions to the car. As I say in the video, there's no getting away from the performance of that car. I, got, I jumped back into the M2 obviously afterwards to drive home. And on reflection, I, I still think the M2's definitely got a slight edge in straight line performance, but we're not talking much. And there's no doubting that the M140 is faster than the M135. That's 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 for sure. The, trust me, the 140s, 240s, that B58 engine, it's just it's a miracle the way it, the way it just revs so cleanly through. The only way you really know it is definitely a turbo engine is that mid-range kick that you get when when the boost sort of hits. I don't know, not even 2,000 revs. You start feeling it from sort of 1,800, 17, 1,800, and it really gives you a good drive. But then you get to the top end, and it just continues to rev out. Feels like it could rev forever. It's uh, it's just a brilliant, brilliant engine. The one thing I would say, and I'm not normally an exhaust person, but just the 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 tuneful stuff that comes out of the exhaust watching the exhaust videos for instance uh is is a lot uh, there's there's so much going on there a lot of it's probably engineered i think a uh, m performance exhaust or an aftermarket exhaust on a 140 or 240 would really make it a very sort of entertaining car to listen to and very much like the m2 is with its standard exhaust god knows what the m2 is like with with its end performance exhaust on i'm sure i'll get to see and hear one very soon but as i mentioned in the video they've now engineered in the cold start function every time you start the car regardless of whether it's cold or whether it's warm so when you fire it up you get that lovely sort of deep barble that you used to get on the m135 and 235s but only when they were cold but you get that every time you start it up now for a couple of seconds which is great because the car just sounds so muscular and, and really good then please subscribe if you haven't already right that's it i'm going signing off cheers bye